These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Yeah, today I want to do my full review for the Vandy Vape Tony B Pulse Free Squonker. Been using it, been enjoying it, been giving me plenty of power. It's not perfect and it is still a lot of plastic but i think there's a lot to love here i got mine in that classic you know tony b tony blue unmistakable blue tony b blue color now i feel as though i was a little bit deceived on social media every picture that i saw on the internet instagram facebook or otherwise of this device it was kind of in this position right here and i thought whoa that looks so slick so cool and i thought for sure and let me know if i'm alone on this I, I very well could be completely alone on this but i thought for sure there would be a matching cutout for the squonk bottle on the other side so you could give it like a pinch squeeze you know turns out that's not the case there is a full plastic removable panel on here a little bit of texturing here and it's hard to see but there are some like slightly aggressive like cutouts on this device as well this looks a little lost vapey up here and when i say plastic Plastic, I don't mean to be too hard on it. It is a firm, firm, rigid plastic. I feel like it would take most of my strength to sort of grab this and break it in half. The only reason there's a panel on the back is for the battery cutout to be able to press your battery from the back to release it. Front panel also comes off and is magnetic and there's no tab for it. There's no notch. This is the notch to take it off. See, we can pop our battery out from the back. Makes life easier. It does have that classic squonk assembly of just, you know, a tube on a spoke which is what squonking is and was for m many years big rubber fill port on the front of these bottles for filling it up and in addition to those panels coming off the front panel also comes off and the buttons don't fall out of the housing hey that's great so there is the ability to get maybe a little bit matchy we could put some smoky panels on the sides and front that might look cool i kind of like the like opaque smoky blue over the screen we got a battery in there one two three four five we'll fire this up it's really super basic it's got a huge puff counter across the top your wattage it'll show you the resistance it'll show me my voltage and the time of my last toot and that's kind of it. Something really weird happens where I can press this one, two, three, and it looks like it goes to a menu, but it doesn't let me cycle through the menu in any way with the buttons. And if I press this again, we just end up back at wattage. So I think it's just wattage mode because that's just all you get. There is a correct way for the back panel to go on and obviously a correct way for the front panel to go on. So you get the illusion that you can pinch this. Doesn't bother me. And like I'm probably about to talk about a lot more the hand feel alone is great on this and because i know tony b is a good sport it's a little bit taller than the empire squonk but much narrower than the empire squonk my wife uses the empire squonker because she has long fingernails and it's easy for her to get in there and squonk it i handed her this she said what the hell do you want me to do with that she couldn't get her long fingernails in there to squonk this now i'm not saying that there's legions of long fingernailed vapors demanding squonkers but i'm sure there's a few and they would have a difficult time squonking on this other than that the hand feel of this rules have i said it too many times already the hand feel of this is just stellar it's about three and a half inches tall and about two and a half inches wide and that translates translates into something that fits in my hand perfectly the empire makes me in, into a bit of a thummy person i have to hit the button with my thumb and that's fine but really in my heart of hearts i am a hit the fire button with my finger type of person thankfully the pulse 3 lets me do that never worry about uh, a lack of power i've never had any issues with this chip hola it's editing this guy here and no issues with the chip except that weird menu that won't let me change the menu. I'm just kind of writing that off as it's just supposed to be wattage mode and nothing more. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything if I press and hold. It's just a contributing factor to the banana sticker rating back to the other guy. It is also, you know, basically 100% plastic. It's rigid plastic, but it is 100% plastic and that keeps it from having 
I don't know, any sort of like slick or techy feel to it. And even though I'm not really supposed to talk about it because hashtag YouTube's weird rules, it would be silly to think that price didn't play a factor in the popularity of the Pulse and probably the popularity of the Pulse 3 for a much lower price, I'm getting a very well-rounded, solid, maybe a little bit of a budget, but overall really solid squonk banger, and I can't knock it too hard for that. Even with the window included, even with the plasticness included, this is probably gonna score itself at least eight and a half banana stickers. It's just reliable. It is plastic, I think I've mentioned that a few times, but it is reliable. It does what it does, it's got plenty of power, I can squonk it, I can vape it, T single 21700, uh, I like little flavor bangers on top of it. Like I said, there's lots to like about this. I guess they should also get that menu system sorted out, the menu system that doesn't quite seem to change anything, it's just wattage mode, and I'm just assuming that it's just wattage mode. And now I'm rambling. That means that this is the end of the video. I can't tell you where to get these or really how much they even cost, but I can tell you this. If you are an adult cigarette smoker, boom, now's the time to quit. 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm gonna put some links to just science and just education. Yeah, this has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free every single day. <laughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 